pour in some water. Splish, splosh, splash. That should do it. Hello, I'm Teo. I'm setting up for a science experiment, a spicy one using pepper and dish soap. Have you ever seen the pepper experiment? Well, I've filled my plate with water. I just need to spice things up by adding some pepper. <laughs> okay, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Ooh, you see that? The pepper is sitting on top. That's because the water is made up of lots of little molecules that sit closely together. Things that are lighter sit on top and things that are heavier go through. That's called surface tension. And because the pepper is so light, it sits on top. Let's see what happens if I dip my finger into this dish soap and then drip it into the peppery water. Are you ready? Ooh, wow! Did you see that? The pepper spread away from the dish soap like magic. What happens is the dish soap breaks the surface tension, which makes the water molecules spread apart and takes the pepper with it. Wow, so amazing. Oh, I've spotted something. I made the pepper move without even touching it. I have a question. If I can make the pepper move, maybe I can make something else move through the water. Let's investigate. Come on, it's science time. For this experiment, you'll need leaves, a plastic spoon, dishwashing liquid, pepper, food colouring, a large deep tray or container, water, and some paper towel for tidying up. Welcome to the science time lab. Are you ready to experiment? I'm thinking the drip of dish soap moved the pepper across the water. Maybe I can find something else that moves other things through the water, like a boat. Let's begin the experiment. I've got this board. It's my experiment log. In science, we like to test lots of things together to see how they work together. It's an important part of the scientific process. Anyway, first I've got these containers of water for our boat to zoom through. I'll just finish filling this one up and then everything is ready to go. Let's experiment. What will we see? Maybe we'll make a discovery. It's time for science. And scientifically, maybe we'll make a discovery. Pouring in the water. Everything's in order. Pepper leaves in colour. What will we see, you and me? Let's experiment. What will we see? Maybe we'll make a discovery. First, I'm going to use a leaf as the boat. And what else? Oh, some pepper. Yes. OK, I need to find a leaf. Uh, oh, this one looks perfect. Not too big and not too small. Now I need to dip the leaf stem into the pepper. A little bit of water on the stem so the pepper will stick. And now dip, dip, dip. Oh, can you see the pepper sticking to the leaf stem? OK. Into the water we go. <gasps> ah. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. The leaf isn't zooming through the water. It's floating, but it's not zooming. Mm, ah, well, that's science, I guess. Trial and error. Back to the experiment log. Well, the leaf and the pepper did not work. Boom, boom! Oh. Next, I'm going to try a spoon. And what else? Oh, I know. How? We'll try some food colouring. Mm, OK. Now, I'm going to dip the end of this spoon into the food colouring. 
dip, 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 blue food colouring, dip, 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 and now into the water it goes. Oh, wow. Well, look, it certainly looks interesting with all the food colouring swirling and whirling through the water, but the spoon sunk to the bottom. Oh, it's too heavy to float, so it doesn't make a very good boat. Oh, another failed attempt. Back to the experiment log. Uh, so, the spoon and the food colouring. No, it did not work. Boom, boom. Hmm. Now, the leaf floated, so I'm going to use that. And, um, do you remember what else we used earlier in the pepper experiment? Dish soap. Yes, so. Oh, OK. Third time, lucky. Maybe the dish soap will work. It worked with the pepper. OK, here we go. I'm going to dip the leaf stem into the dish soap. Dip, dip, dip. And now into the water it goes. <gasps> Boom! Oh, look, 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 it's zooming through the water. Zoom, zoom, zoom. It's coming back round. Wow. Zoom, zoom, zoom. A winning combination. Hooray. <laughs> Did you see the boat zoom through the water? Oh, I think we can safely call that a scientific success. Let's see what we've discovered. What made the dish soap move the leaf? Well, just like water is made up of molecules, dish soap is made up of molecules that have two parts. One part draws the water in, the other part pushes the water away. The part of the molecule that pushes the water away is what powered our leaf boat through the water. We tried lots of different things, logged it in our experiment log, but we found the leaf and the dish soap made our little boat move through the water. One more look and... Uh, uh, and go, little boat! Whee! Ha ha! Have you ever been for a ride in a boat? Come on, come for a row with me. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ooh, what about the version with the lion? Do you know that one? Row, row, row your boat gently down the shore. But if you see a lion there, don't forget to roar. roar. Last one, careful of the crocodile. Ooh. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! <laughs> Maybe you'd like to do the pepper experiment or make a dish soap powered leaf boat. So, discover your way with some science time today. Bye.